Woo! Welcome to Justice TV. Things could get out of hand. Yeah. Fuck you! Yo, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Justice TV. Okay, Mark Navarro, congratulations. He's a new European K1 champion. He's got more belts than I've got Ray-Bans. I don't think that's true. But anyway, let's um, we're gonna call Mark Navarro up. We're gonna give him a post-fight interview. Let me introduce you to this man's fight before I, I give you this interview. It was a bloodbath. It, it was the bloodiest battle that I've ever seen. And I just wanna, I wanna interview Mark. Now, he's got no idea I'm calling him today, so. Mark Navarro! He has just been involved in the most bloodiest bloodbath ever! These guys were slipping up, there was so much blood. Any doctor in the world would have called the fight. But not this doctor. This doctor is drunk on ten and super! Or whatever they drink up there. Hey, hey. Oh, Mark Navarro, the freaking Rican. Buddy, I just watched your fight. It was amazing. It was probably the best K1 fight I ever seen. And I said that about your last two K1 fights. Mate, you're a legend. Your fights are just the fucking best. So you must be feeling on top of the world right now. You're the new European K1 champion. <laughs> I am, I'm fucking feeling it as well, I tell you, man. After that, I bet, mate. Working, but you know, at the end of the day, I'll step up against anybody. I know you will, Mark. I, I know. Stay away from Mark, you fought all the I best K1 fighters. You fought Pete Mercer. You fought Ian Martell. You've had wars with them all, and now this big Swedish fella, yeah. I mean, the Swedes are hot right now. You've got Alexander Gustafsson, yeah, who's like number one MMA fighter in the world. He's Swedish. Yeah, yeah, I think people are too quick to play it down, but what they don't realize is these guys are overrated, yeah? They haven't gone up against people like me. You know what I'm saying, yeah? The undercard, that's all they get. And when it comes down to a cut, you know, you'd be on his ass in the first round, I'm telling you. And uh, if you saw that fight with me last week, right? I did see the I, fight, I, of course I've seen it. Yeah. Running through my eyes, I couldn't see. I could not see the last five minutes. Oh, I know, yeah, that's true. I, I battled through it and that's my mentality. And when, when you've got that mentality where you refuse to lose, that's it, I can do it all day long. I can do it all day long. Mark, you're, you're a hero in my eyes, mate. I've never seen a fighter with so much courage, so much heart. Yeah, You're so exciting to watch. Honestly, I... Yeah, well, I, 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 it's, no, it's no easy thing for me because I train hard, six hours a day, every day, you know? And that's why I'm doing a 36 hours job, so I, I want to be pro. I don't want to live like this, you know? It's hard. I want to, I want to, I want to, eventually, I want to get the crown of the UCMMA, and then that way, I'll get called up for the UFC. So that's, that's my next uh, uh, aim, you know? I, I want this guy, the champion, the UCMMA, I want him to talk against me. Yeah, that's Dave that's O'Donnell! That's Dave O'Donnell, if you're watching this, yeah, Mark Navarro, the freaking reeking, yeah, don't care who you've got in his division, yeah, he will eat him. Do you see how many knees that that man ate? Like it was nothing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? And he just yeah, kept on coming yeah. forward, mate. That's baptism under fire. Mark Navarro, I'm going to have to cut this phone call short because Justice is yeah. a very busy man, yeah? But congratulations, mate. Like I said, you've got more belts than I've got Ray-Bans. You're a K1 legend. Your fights are the best. You're fucking brilliant, mate. And uh, well, thanks very much, Jim. I respect what you do as well. I respect what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm prepared to take the best step. That's all I can say. I'm not scared of no one. You know what I mean? I've never been beaten. I know. So well, let, yeah, let, you... let, let, let's fucking let's sit on that. The champion, let's sit on that. Because I've never, ever been beaten. I know no, you haven't, Mark. No one, no one can beat you for heart. They might have shaded you on points, but you've never been beaten. No, no, no. In my head, I wasn't beaten on that fight. In no, my head, I wasn't beaten. Mate, no, you've yeah. never, you've never been fucking, apart from when Ian Martell clipped you of a knee or whatever, and you, you went on one knee, you've never been knocked down, Mark. You're a tank, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, you're the hardest bastard I know, mate. And I was in your, cor yeah. I was in your corner against Tommy King. Yeah. And, mate, yeah. you could have beaten him. That was just an off night for uh, you. Uh, and that's our uh, light away. Uh, you know, anyway, you've yeah, got to cut this phone call short. Yeah, they're, they're lucky fighters, yeah. I fight with style, I fight with passion. Uh, you know, when I win, it's through brutality and strength and pure power. And, that, and that, that's my effort, you know. And, uh, 
All right, Mark. Um, go and go, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. Okay, take a toy. Take a toy. Take a toy. ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you! You're better than that! Mother, it's me, Justice. Well, no, you're lucky I'm not in bed, aren't you? Yes. Well, the only time we could get a decent night's sleep is when he was locked up. Oh, shut up. If he wasn't in jail, he'd probably be out now committing multiple heinous crimes. Oh, shut up, Jimmy. Thank you, Mother. I love you. Goodbye. Good night. Bye-bye. Right. I can't get hold of the freaking Rican, yeah? But I want to make this post-fight interview, and I'm crazy, but... We're going to get my brother to be the freaking Rican. He can do it. He does a great Scottish accent. Now I've got to drum this into my brother because he's got to get in character. He is one hard motherfucker from the streets of Dundee. Oh, hello. Hello, Dan. It's your brother. You've got to pretend to be a fighter called Mark Navarro. This fight was a hell of a war. It was a bloodbath, yeah? You got cut, yeah. in, the, you got cut in the second round badly with a knee or whatever. You yeah. smashed him, yeah? You know... You're a puncher, yeah? He, he just needs you a lot, okay? Listen, you won the fight and you're now the European K1 champion. Now, I'm going to call you back in a minute and you're going to be in character as a Scottish guy, geezer, fighter, Mark Navarro, yeah? Thanking all your fans. You've just won the European K1 title and I'm going to prompt you by giving you an interview, all right? Oh, no disrespect. I love Mark Navarro. What a fighter, man. What a fighter.